Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Frank and Don. Let's go take care of the rest of these Tuatha and Baylor. Okay. Out of range. This whole segment is giving me some very uh, Dungeon Siege 2 and Dragon Age Origins vibes. Uh, Battle of Ostagar. And just Dungeon Siege 2 in general. It's a nice trip down Nostalgia Lane. Page against its Watha down below. I realized he was doing it just a little too late. Alright, chill out. Just really hoping I dodge that, that's fine. Let's get in here and start beating this guy to death. to it. What those little yellow explosions are. Captain Miss or Miss. Are you reporting in? Uh sure. Uh, wounded soldiers. We held off the last wave and then that thing showed up. I dragged them both here, but I don't think they're going to make it. Okay, uh, Tuatha. The Tuatha are all over our lines. The battle is a bit of a mess right now. I heard them stop pounding, a bunch of fighting, and then nothing. Guess I have you to thank that we're not completely overrun. Uh, Baylor. A Niskaru as big as this fortress. It's pushed us all the way back here, and now it is tearing down the very walls of Mel Senshir. The Tuatha must be truly mad to conjure up such a beast. Uh, join me. Join you? I can't just leave my posting in such a state. Uh, better to die trying. Right. Better than dying here, I guess. Let's show those Tuatha. Alright, let's rock and roll, man. Oh, I need to get behind cover. Got it. Wait, there's a chest back here. So I think uh, Captain Mist just died. <laughs> Are you? Should probably save a smack talking for once uh, the deed is done. So you don't want to look stupid. 
Same thing every time. Never fought a Niskara Tyrant without Reckoning Mode. Not gonna start now. But probably should have taken out the Priest with the Tyrant. The Reckoning got more experience for it. of the tsunami. That's good pop one of these. All right, to the ramparts again. Crap, I'm trying to drink my coffee. He just put his fingernail up here so I can swing at it. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I can pull caught like giant icicles out of the sky. That's kind of cool. A reckoning shield. I'm sorry that the uh, cutscenes are so much louder than the base game. Alright, uh, long swords, I guess. One more level up and we've maxed out the might tree. I'm just gonna clear up my inventory. I know it's a weird time to do it, but... Let's go ahead and take care of it real fast. careful with the uh, the books. I can't get rid of Till's collection. Better been working on that for far too long. Alright, come congratulate me. Or not. They're gone. After ten years, I can't believe they're finally gone. Uh, Mouse and Shear is free. It's over. 
After all these years, the siege is broken, and we're alive. Thank the gods for sending you to us. This is a glorious day, but I have heard a bitter rumor in the wake of all of this. Is it true? Has Talera fallen? <laughs> she ran? No. Talera gave her life to save us. Then the rumors of her dishonor will finally be silenced. She gave everything to us in the end, and the world will know that. When we rebuild these walls, we'll name them after General Talera. Her memory will stand as long as the ramparts shine. But she never would have been here had you not delivered her to us. It can never be enough, but we hope you'll accept this as our thanks. All right, uh, what now? We freed the city, but the Tuatha still hold most of Cluricon. Over the years, they've infected every part of these swamps. Clearing them out isn't going to be easy, but we might have help. There are rumors of a small band of fighters harassing the Tuatha. Perhaps the hero of Mel Senshir can convince them to work with us. Good luck. Siegebreaker. Uh, you changed the course of the war and defeated the greater Nisgaru Baylor. Songs of your bravery and heroism will be sung for generations. Plus 4% experience bonus and plus 6% damage. Our soldiers are doing their best out there, but it's still a nightmare. Uh, allies. We've heard rumors about a band of soldiers striking the Tuatha for years, but nothing solid. They said their forces were crippled by a bitter frost, but it never gets that cold in the swamps. Watch out for those red-eyed bastards. All right, so he gave us a new weapon. Let's see. Oh, it's not very good, is it? Off into the swamps, I assume. Uh, no any allies in the Clericon? None that would be of any help. After a decade of Tuatha control, they've all gone quiet. But if there are any out there, I'm sure they'll be looking for you. Just keep your eyes open. After all, we'll be in their swamp. Oh man, I'm gonna <laughs> team up with Shrek. Be on your way. Allies can come from any luck out there? Uh, not yet. Uh, where can I find these allies? They're fighting the Tuatha, right? Since you're the one who defeated Witch Knight Malwin, I suspect they'll be looking to find you. I'll meet you in Mel. Okay, let's see if all these uh, other buildings are open yet. Siani Der Derwood. Behind Derwood. me is the Mel Senshia Jail, hero. All of the prisoners were given weapons and placed on the wall for the battle. It is empty now. Uh, Siani Derwood. Someone has to guard the jail. Although, I'd much rather be pursuing the Tuatha. Okay, a Melson Shear Jail. Most of the criminals we get are deserters or drunken brawlers. The jail is currently empty. All of the prisoners were armed and sent to the war before the battle. A Melson Shear. This war has lasted so long, it seems like that's all the city has ever known. A General Talera. The loss of the great general is a terrible blow. She was the greatest warrior on the army. I'm standing right here. A battle of Melson Shear. Several times I thought the city would fall, but it was not our fate. It's like how the one guy's gonna name the walls after Talera. It's like, I was the one that did everything. I mean, I could use some walls named after myself. Let's do it this way. Keymaster. You need authorization. I have my own authorization, don't worry. note in my pocket that says I can do what I want.
right to the hospital. Is there any new NPCs back here? So I spoke to him. It's a blood shield, a soldier. Oh, there's a quest over here. Bronwyn. I am Coriolia Scathe, head surgeon here in Melsentia. Do you require healing? Actually, I think I do. That's Watha. Oh, to be able to study their physiology. Impossible, of course, given how their bodies return to nature upon their death. Okay, a mouse in sheer. A beautiful city, is it not? When the siege began, I came here straight away from studying with the Scolia Arcana in Rathir. The opportunity to observe the effects of violence firsthand and to help, of course, was too much to ignore. Okay, uh, Megan Johnson. Her services are adequate. I'll admit, her only fault lies in caring too much for her patients. Okay, a Coriolia scape. As head surgeon, I support the soldiers of the Alpha armies as best I can. Despite the recent and dramatic improvements in healing magic, few that make their way to my table survive. As great as our power may be, the power of the Tuatha is all the more destructive. Farewell. Hmm, sounds a little suspect. A far soldier. <laughs> Matrim Hawkins. <laughs> you, you're already dead. Nothing but another corpse, just like me. Another body for the feast. She's here, you know. Death. I've seen her. She's like a big fat crow come to eat my eyes. Please, don't let her eat my eyes. I don't want to die. Okay, that's Watha. Once I thought they were monsters, always rising. I didn't know then. I didn't understand where the real monsters live. Okay, I'm Elson Shear. A whole city of crows, fat from feasting. Uh, Matram Hawkins. A fool twice cursed. Once to fall in battle, nearly killed. Cursed again to keep on living in this wretched place, this nest of death and darkness. Okay, uh, death is here. Oh, she's a great dark crow with a thousand needle beaks. She's going to take me, you know, I've seen it. We're all beggars. Dead already and begging for the end. Beggars bent like hags, bent beneath a bloody fate. But you, you're no beggar, no beggar at all. You're the scarecrow, aren't you? Shoo, death, shoo! Uh, what's the scarecrow? I can see it, all around you. You're not like us, you're not like anyone. You're not afraid of death, are you? I am. I dream of her. She takes me beneath the tower and she... She does things. Horrible things. Don't let her take me there, please. Don't let her open me up. I don't want to see what's inside. How about the broken tower? That's where she keeps her nest. We go beneath the tower, but we don't come out again. Don't go there. It's dangerous. Don't go. You won't come back! Don't leave me! It's okay. I'm gonna go to the broken tower. So something tells me that the the crow mean? that he's talking about is the uh head surgeon here. If I had to take a wild guess. That's why there's two healers here, because one of them isn't very good, so they're going to probably end up getting killed by me. I am Megan, nurse to the wounded soldiers of the Alpha. How can I help you? I'm El Sanchir. The poor soldiers of Mel Sanchir desperately need a healer's touch. There are so many dead or dying, and so few of us to help. I'm Megan Johnson. My family does not understand. 
They want me to settle down somewhere. There are so many who suffer and so few who help. I cannot just turn and look the other way. All right, a match from Hawkins. He came to us broken from the fighting. I fear that though his flesh has survived the siege, his mind has not. Okay, a Coriolia Cori Scaife. Mistress Scaife is our head surgeon, though lately she's taken to disappearing for hours at a time. Yeah. I cannot help but wonder where she goes. <coughs> Excuse me. No, we're good, that's for sure. Next time, she might not come back. Can I speak to her about it? I am Coriolia Scaife, head surgeon to her. here in Melsentia. Do you require healing? I spoke with Matram Hawkins. Master Hawkins is not well, I'm afraid. The injuries he sustained have broken both his body and his spirit. Do, do not trust anything he tells you. I can assure you that his mind is racked with a deep dementia. Yep, I am sure. Farewell. All right. Let's get back out here. We're going to talk to... What's your face? To the... Northeast. Hello. Interested in a trinket or a gem? Realty's Ma has what you need. Uh, General Talera. Looks like she really was the great general after all. Another time then. Yep, should have waited. Well, different dialogue, so I'm glad I didn't wait. Of supplies if you've got plenty of coin. To talk to all these people. Uh, General Talera. The greatest of generals. I heard that when the Nescaru came, she gave her life in order to protect us. Yeah, but she also failed. So, like, you know, maybe the person that stepped up to the plate and took care of the Nescaru. Also, what happened to the spear? A battle of Mel Senshir. When that Nescaru appeared, I thought that was it. Mel Senshir would fall. No one else in this world could have slain that demon. I thank Lyria you were here with us. Come back again. <sighs> General Talaria is taking some of the, uh, the wind from my wings. Got all the credit for my hard work. Nay, solid. Well, War Swan, good to meet you. Have you come for scout training? Uh, War Swan. You're one of the few recruits who weren't shipped right off to war. Tuatha. Not the stealthiest of foes, it's true, but their tactics are so strange. Sometimes so brilliant, scouts are vital all the same. Okay, uh, the war. With the siege broken, what I'd give to drop my guard, to dare and hope that the end's in sight. But the Tuatha King is leagues away. Leagues. It's very Kira. Looking sharp, he says every time he sees me. So bloody pleased with himself with his little chest. A scout training. Good scouting and tracking runs deep among the war sworn. The same principles apply to bandits in the woods as to Arthur in Chloricon's waste. A Chloricon. Have you been out there? It's a strange land. Like and unlike the Western lands. So long. Greetings, hero. How may I assist you? Uh, General Talera. I was wrong to doubt her. She has proven that she was the greatest commander we have ever had. I don't know how she proved that, but okay. A battle of Melson Shear. It seems fate smiled on us when she brought you to our city. We would not have won without you. Got that right. A new day has dawned for Melson Shear. Alright, that's Bronwyn. She's got a quest for us. We'll talk to her last. How's that steel? Need me to take a look? Actually, yes. Prepare my stuff. A battle of Melson Shear. I did not see the demon fall, but I felt the earth shake. To slay such a creature, you must have been blessed by the gods. A Bronwyn Sen. She is the highest ranking blade master in the Alpha army, and she fought beside Talera herself. Would probably have gutted the Baylor too if she'd gotten close. Bronwyn Sen is a living legend. Treat her with respect. Okay, uh, General Talera. Terrible loss for us. Should have been her leading our army south. Give them hell. Ah, 
Your hands are strong. Are you a student of the blade? I'm uh, more of a hammer guy. General Talera. I knew Talera my whole life. She is a hero to the Alpha. Happy hunting. Honor to you, champion. I watched from the battle's van while you faced Malwyn and his demon pet. You have earned great glory and the respect of all Alpha. If you have a moment, could I ask a favor of you? A uh, Melson Shear. Since the Tuatha penned us here, Melson Shear has become more than just our home. It is where we made our stand. Now that the siege has been broken, it will be where we rise up and take the fight back to the cursed Tuatha. Okay. Uh, General Talera. We grew up together back in Arathel. I've never known a warrior more courageous. A battle of Melson Shear. I have never been a part of a battle like that before. You and Talera were magnificent. Uh, what kind of favor? Since the battle, several of my men have asked for the chance to challenge the champion of Mel Senshir. You slew Malwin and destroyed the great demon he commanded. They hold you in awe. Five of our greatest fighters have asked, and if you accept, they will each face you here in the practice yard in single combat. Uh, who are these warriors? There are five in total. Anayan Gaius, Tarek Smith, Sephedra Will, Adrian Tyr, and my sister, Ragna Sen. Tell me when you are prepared to fight, and I will summon the appropriate warrior. Good luck to you, champion. I don't need luck. All right, I accept. Excellent. Your first challenger is Enion Gaius. He is a veteran of more than a dozen campaigns and my personal aid. This should prove interesting. Go with Lyria. I'm sure it's going to be as interesting as you think. His name is grayed out. <laughs> Got a little carried away there. That last fight with Anion was interesting. He fared better than I thought, though I was unsurprised when you bested him. Prepared for your next challenge? Yeah. I am ready. Your next challenger is Tarek Smith. The Smith spends all day pounding steel. Do not let him pound you too. Phrasing. Go with Lyria. <laughs> You certainly didn't pull any punches with my blacksmith. I hope he can still hold a hammer tomorrow. Sephedra Will is next. Are you prepared? I am ready for the next. Sephedra is one of my best scouts, quick and agile. Give her any room and she'll make the ring into your grave. Go with Lyria. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not very worried about it. You handled Sephedra readily enough. Perhaps it's time you face Adrian Tyr. Oh, I can fight all of them at once. That'd be okay too. Uh, I am ready. Adrian Tyr survived alone three times when his company to a man has fallen. The soldier refuses to give up. He is fearless and enduring. It will take the force of God to bring him to his knees. Good luck. Go with Lyria. Oh, his name is Purple. Oh! Adrian fell harder than I thought he would. Well done. I, I am ready for the next. Your final challenger is my sister, Ragna. She is the finest weaponsmith in the Alpha army, and a peerless fighter. Oh, I'm not worried. She will bury her sword in your heart if you are not careful. Do not underestimate her. I assume I'm going to fight Bronwyn, Bronwyn last, because Bronwyn is supposed to be the, the first sword, so... I assume she's a better fighter than Ragna. 
Whoops. Take a little carried away there, didn't I? Oh. Turn around backwards. And I'm fighting in a handicap. Well, my battle frenzy, I guess, was active there, wasn't it? One by one, the greatest of the Alpha have faced you in single combat, and all have fallen. Now it is my turn. Okay. I am Bronwyn Aurelia Sen, the first sword of the Alpha. I was born in battle, and hundreds have fallen by my hand. Let us see what you are truly made of, champion. Go with Lyria. So far, not super impressed. Pretty sure that's all she wrote for you, Bronwyn. Well, maybe not. Close. You are worthy of honor, warrior. I have never faced your equal. Take this. Tilera herself granted me this blade for the slaying of the Tuatha champion Zerastes. But you deserve it more than I. The Alpha honor you, champion. May the Tuatha fear your coming. She regifted a sword to me. Go with Lyric. It's not even a good sword. I got a regift. Well, you bent because over the anvil right proper. All right, Get everything with this out. guy's phrasing. Don't let him pound me. I bent him over the anvil. Come on, man. Um. Yeah, John Slayer is dead, so no one's gonna recognize the regift except for Bronwyn. Alright, we're gonna go to the tavern. The war here's a bloody thing. Well, yeah, let's talk to these two the first, then we'll war, go to the uh, tavern. Our soldiers are doing their best out there. But it's still a nightmare. Alright, where can I find these allies? If you believe the rumors, they attack and then fade into the swamps of Cluricon without a trace. Just go out there, and I suspect they'll find you. Watch out for okay. those red-eyed bastards. A feud to Arthur must seem nothing to you after what you've seen. Got that right. In the early war. All right, tavern. Let's see how far soldier. We Where's May Destin? Do you have any idea how depressing it is to be a fate weaver in a place like this? I do not. Uh, Where's May Destin? I came here wishing to be of some use to the defenders of the city, but telling them all that they are going to die isn't what I had in mind. Okay, I'm Elson Shear. I don't know why I came here. Every fate I see ends in a terrible, gruesome death. Okay. A General Talera. It was a great deed, her sacrifice. Still, I find it odd. It wasn't her fate to die here. She was to continue on after the fall of the city. Well, that's interesting. So her fate... So I guess my influence on fate... isn't always positive. So I did save Agarth previously, but General Talera... 
to do and have to follow the city. So the city was supposed to fall, but we prevented the city from falling. Okay, got it. Uh, but it was, as a result, she ended up dying. A battle of and Cheer. I've seen the fate of every soldier in that battle, and none of them were to survive past that day. I do not know what you are or how you are doing whatever it is you're doing, but I'm glad you are on our side. Yeah, imagine if I had a choice in this when game. The greater Niskaru arrived, <laughs> thought we would do. Cadigan Twain. Business is booming. Melsenshire. What you see around you is a shell of what Melsenshire once was. Before the Tuatha occupation, she was a great trading post, a sister of Rathir. But now the city is in ruins, and the path to rebuild her is long indeed. Okay, uh, General Talera. When she left before, well, I didn't think we would ever see her again. She was far braver and stronger than I gave her credit for. Cadigan Twain. I've been running the Serpent's Tale ever since the original proprietor left to buy supplies and never came back. It's not easy keeping a tavern open in the middle of a siege, but the soldiers needed something to keep their minds off the war. Okay. A battle of Melson Shear. I thank Lyria you were here with us, hero. You brought us victory in our darkest moment. All right, Freddy Edstar. Oh it's wait, that's notice. It's time to death celebrate. Notice. The Baylor's dead, and the Tuatha have fallen back to Cursewood. You and me, let's drink to victory. Uh, Melson Shear. Thought we were doomed, didn't you? You and everybody else. But nobody accounted for the hero of Mel Senshir. Uh, Freddy Edstar. Oh, I come from a long line of soldiers. We don't know anything else. I'd pay good gold to see anyone in my family bake a loaf of bread or read a book. Uh, Crystal War. I'm not doing this for the glory. Glory's worthless when you're dead. I'm doing this because someone has to. And if not me, then who? Well, definitely not Tech Edstar. Uh, Tech Edstar has died. <laughs> Not Tack. Not Tack. Damn the two author. Damn them to the fires! This isn't how it was supposed to happen. I was supposed to be the soldier. He was supposed to stay home to watch Mother. I knew he was in Cursewood, but... But they must have been in the path of the Baylor. They were trying to shield us. Poor Tack. Mother will be ruined. Turn to Squire Corrin. Alright, so we finished that quest. I believe that was everybody to talk to in here, right? Not a lot going on in the old tavern. Alright, can I travel back? Whitestone. Hey, nice to see a bit of foot traffic by my old stall. Fancy a bit of work, collect farewell. Hey, hey you're not here just to talk to. Oh, he's upstairs. Hey, hey. So it's done. <laughs> Better you than me, I suppose. With the war still raging, there's always plenty of bad news to deliver. You should see the stacks of them in Rathir. Thank you. You have more courage than I do. And I've stared into the eye of the enemy. Take this. It's my weekly pay. I can't bear to feel its weight. Okay. Well, thanks for the money, I guess. I do like getting paid. Alright, well, I think that's... I don't know if there's another quest over here. I was going to call it an episode, but... This guy has something for me to do as well. The Tuatha lines have broken, and we still live. It looks like fate has a sense of humor. Please, 
Forgive my melancholy. The champion of Mel Senshia should be cheered, not subjected to my sorrow. I am Adrian Tear, and I owe you my thanks. Though many have been lost, your courage saved a great many more. Okay, uh, General Talera. She was the greatest among us. What happened out there on the wall? I knew she would redeem herself. Thank Lyria she was here, and that her life was not given in vain. A battle of Melson Shear. I did not think fate would let us survive that onslaught. It seems that even if fate is not on our side, you are. Yeah. And why are you sad? I was dead, or I should have been at least, if it were not for a Varani mercenary who threw himself in the fray. He fought like a demon, and I was able to escape. The poor man was not so fortunate, though. I watched the Tuatha cut him off, and then he was gone. It shames me, but I once held such mercenaries in great disdain. But this man, whoever he was, he was a warrior of honor. All right, I will find him for you, even though you didn't ask. He was cut off and surrounded by the Tuatha. He is surely dead. However, his body must lie somewhere in Cursewood. It would give me peace to learn of his fate. Hey, where did you see him last? The Varani warrior? The last I saw of him, he was cut off behind two Arthur lines in Cursewood. Fair okay. Way. Well, we got another quest. The next quest we're going to do is... Malicious Practices. Which we'll take care of in the... Next episode. I'm going to call the episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.